So it's a bit of a weird day for Duel Links, and so we're doing a bit of a weird video because finally we've got Selena in Duel Links, of course, unlockable on the 28th, so two days' time to wait. Not too long, and she seems to be a fairly free to play character. We're not getting a structure deck, we're not getting a selection box. All of her cards are going to be in her level ups. There's some really cool play mats and sleeves with her and Yuzu, and we're getting some good cards like Blue Cat, which I think will be a three of in the deck, if not a two of. Serenade Dance Trap card, which is pretty decent, summons that token when you fusion summon, and then buff some monsters and can banish it to special night from your deck. So it's not awful at all. Two pretty decent event cards we have been wanting for a long time. Now, the big thing is, of course, there's also some stuff in the shop, right? You've got a Book of Moon bundle, which we were waiting for an MST one, and then this leaked in the games database, right? When you clicked on card catalog, and then we've got this now. It's a paid bundle only, so it's a starter pack. It's not a bundle like a limit one bundle. And it's pretty affordable, right? $3.49, I think $5 is not too bad for a Book of Moon. You know, that's pretty decent and is comparable to Galaxy Cyclones, so the same kind of value, that's fine. There's also some world themed accessories, right, that are paid only. Whereas in Master, they're getting a whole bundle that's going to be free currency as well, so that's uh, a little bit um, disappointing. I think there's also been some changes to dual replays. You can now choose whether you want to have a platinum, a gold, like look at this, right, you, you got your rewards. It's kind of like the change in Master right, for Dual Live, but not as big, because it's not as important, I guess. But it's still pretty cool, right, you can see which ones you want to do, you want to platinum or legend rank up, you can see their featured card as well. That's cool. Now the big thing is going to be leaks, right, as to what's happening this week. Why is there no selection box, why is there no structure deck, and we've got some rotor changes, right, for Castell, the last count, which is a balance box of cards, so Leto potentially coming in August or September. I'm kind of leaning towards September, given we don't have a character like Animation ID leaked, which we had done for the Sevens characters. It was a bit weird, but that's kind of expected. Of course, we've got skills and cards with Serena, and we, you know, last year we had the Selection Box Mini Volume 4, which was okay, right? You got Compulsory, the best card in it, which is fine. The year before was the Selection Mini Volume 3 which had nothing of real note, and of course also had the Structure GX, which was paywalled, the skill was paywalled, it was really bad. And so this year with Selena being free, with no Structure Tech, right, that's pretty good. You know, it's, it's a net benefit. The, the big thing is what is happening to this potential Selection Box Mini Volume 5, because surely Konami won't go two whole months, right, from the end of June to the end of August with no content of you to buy. And so I think... We're just kind of waiting out until After Worlds happens, right? A week extra to wait for a selection box isn't going to change much. If it was a mini box, I'd understand, but I still think waiting for the mini at the end of August, and then, of course, going into the main box, whatever that's happening for Rush Duel for Sevens in September. And I think even more so than two months of no paid content, right? I think it's not a good look if you have a big two-month gap right before you're about to change the game in a major way, and potentially, we don't know, mess with the economy, screw over Duel Links players, we don't know what's happening with Rush Duel, right? Fingers crossed they, they nail it, but there's a chance they don't, and so that could be a little bit iffy. Now, we are going to go through and do an old school farm on Selena because why not, right? Um, we can use Ubel, not the same list as this because I don't have three copies of the Witch or the Vortex Trooper, but a very similar list. We've got Sangan instead, and she's actually cheating, right, for a deck, right? She's got three copies of the Emerald Bird, the Ella Martin. It's an illegal deck, you know? The AR cheating. What a surprise, but this seems to be pretty straightforward, right? Pretty straightforward. There's nothing too uh, annoying in this, so let's go back to Duel Links and let's see. Because I think you are going to want prismatic versions of the Blue Cat in your deck, and so this might be one to farm. You know, we have, of course, got the Auto Duel the Gate as well, which is big, you know, bringing it back, which, of course, I'd like them to do, you know, for the, for the normal gate, right? But I understand why they don't. And also, while we're here, first of all, Selene's theme is a jammer. It's so, so good, but the, the big unfortunate thing is the original voice actress did not reprise the role in the dub, and the new one, whilst I get the direction they've kind of gone with it, I personally think it's so far gone from the character, it doesn't sound like them at all, that it's just a bit disappointing. So I'm playing on Japanese on my phone where I mainly play, but let's see. Now, this is a bit disappointing because we've not seen the Viking Island, which we kind of need to start popping are you bell and so we've got to kind of hope that we join to a planet pathfinder or into the fucking island 
before we can even kind of start a combo, or of course the axe should be nice as well, in for the cat dance of course, first of all. Now, are you going to be able to fusion summon again this turn, getting this serenade dance? Loon Lights could do a lot, they could do a lot. Now, the big thing here is that there's a lot of cards again that we're not getting, right? We're not getting the Cloud Chick, right? I'm pretty sure we're not getting Cloud Chick. We can then go and grab UL Peace or go and grab, I guess, the Field Spell of Pathfinder. So I kind of think I should grab the Pathfinder to grab the Field Spell. This might not work, but we'll see. This might be completely wrong. Oh, it works. Okay, that is fine. In for Pathfinder. Again, a little bit lucky with farming, but it is a lot. It's been a long time, I think, since you has been a viable farm deck for certain events. So it's kind of nostalgic, but also kind of boring of a farm deck, and it's also kind of slow. So let's go and pop the bell in our hand. The summon into, of course, searching for the Aksha, and then summoning into the Terra Incarnate in our deck. Now, we do want to keep on the field, or in our hand, sorry. We want to keep at least two Viking Islands, right? So we can have one way of destroying it. We also want to keep all three of our big bodies, right? Our two Yubel Ultimate Nightmares, and our one Yubel. So. We want to keep those on hand to, of course, go for the Montage Dragon and the Shen Spy. So we've got to do a little bit of resource management, but we should be fine. Now, I did try and record some mini-go, and I forgot how the deck worked. I discarded a bunch of cards needed, and so you can still lose because of being an idiot. But we're going to be giving us a token, which is kind of annoying, because that means that they can just go and win. Are you... Right. So, maybe you Bell isn't as foolproof as we kind of hoped. That is a bit annoying. Um, okay. Don't you dare activate your dot a second time? Really? A second time you're summoning your token attacking and doing 40 damage? Okay, 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 okay. Thank you for not- <laughs> that would have driven me crazy. So this, of course, is where you want to be, right? Your last turn, you've got your Viking Island up, you've got your Terran Con in the field, you've got plenty of materials in hand. So let's go and summon into, of course, our Montage Dragon using our three highest levels in our hand. One, two, three. There we go, summon you. We'll then go and give the Montage to our opponent. So they've now got a nice 10,000 hat point body on their field. We can then go and play around Viking Island. That's going to block the first one, and then block our field. And then we'll play Terran Con to summon into the Ultimate Nightmare. And from there, we'll go battle phase, attack in, deal damage to our opponent equal to 10,200, and there we go. Now, hopefully, we can get a prismatic drop, we can get some big gems, but we're probably going to get gold. So, uh, please, Konami, please want to... Nah. Really? 78? Really? So, there might be some work needed on your bell uh, to make it uh, seem actually 8k viable, but we'll see. We'll see what people kind of come up with. It's, of course, not the B.O.N. duel. There's bound to be more speedy farm decks as well that can kind of compete. Of course, let me know down below what you're using to farm Selena. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, I believe, for the outcome updates. And then on the 28th for Selena's unlock and her skills and how many tickets she gets and how good of a character she is. And then who knows from then on? Who knows? So uh, see you then.